guys, so in this video, I am showing you how to install your Pinterest tag into your Shopify website. So for just a little breakdown, for anyone that just clicked on this video and doesn't know what that actually is, and they just see that Pinterest is suggesting that they put this tag into their Shopify website or just their website in general, just to let you know what a Pinterest tag is, a Pinterest tag is a piece of code that you put into your website. And what it does, it gets the two platforms, Pinterest and your website, which in this case is Shopify, in communication with in communication with one another. So when you want to actually go and do paid traffic via Pinterest advertisement, you will be able to better optimize your promoted pins um, because you have your Pinterest tag, because you can build something called audiences, which tells Pinterest that you want to target a specific demographic of people that looks just like the people that are on going onto your website, buying from your website, interacting with your website. Facebook, Facebook has something similar called a pixel. And so what it does is it collects all the data and information of the types of people that are interacting with your website and communicates that back to Pinterest. So then when you run your paid advertisement, you are able to optimize your pins to the fullest potential. So that's just a little breakdown. Let's hop right into it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to this page right here. If you don't know how to get to this page, you click up here and go to ads. You come down here to conversions and then you're going to want to click on your pixel or your Pinterest tag code here to give you an install base code as step number one. So what you're going to want to do is come down here and copy this tag as you can see here copy this code you're going to want to go to your shopify website you're going to want to go to i already did this but let me just show you how you actually get here you're one going to go to online store you're going to want to go to edit code once you get to the edit code page you're want to go to theme.liquid as you can see here and what you're actually looking for in this don't get overwhelmed with this i don't know code either you're going to want to control f and you're going to want to look for the closing head um you, you should have an opening head which is right here and you're going to want to look for the closing head which is this one which is right here and you're going to want to paste that piece of code right above this closing header so it's going to look something like this um, you're going to want to make sure that your pinterest id tag ID is here so it's right here um, and we should be good to go um, now we are going to save it um, and that is the first part of installing the Pinterest tag um, the next thing that we're going to want to do is go to install the event code. So now Pinterest is going to be tracking specific events that are occurring on your website, like purchase, checkout, add to cart, um, and tracking the, the demographics of the type of people are, that are performing specific actions. So what we're going to want to do is come over here um, and put in all the things that it wants to communicate back to Pinterest. So if we want the order ID, the product name, the product category, the product price, all these different things, um, product quantity. Okay, this is everything that I want it to track. I'm going to now copy this script right here, control C. Okay, so now we are going, we have this copied. We're going to go back to our website and we are going to go to settings in Pinterest or in Shopify. We are going to go to checkout and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to additional scripts here. I have some other stuff here, but underneath this code, yours will probably be empty. I'm going to paste this event code here and I'm going to save it. Now, as you can see, um, uh, if you scroll down here, there is install the Pinterest tag helper Chrome extension. So this is a Chrome extension that tells you whether or not you have your Pinterest tag set up correctly. So it's similar to like a Facebook um, Chrome extension. You can download it. You just click on it. It'll bring you to the Chrome web store and you can add it to your Chrome bar. See, I already have it, so it says remove from Chrome. And now I'm gonna check on my website to see if the Pinterest tag is firing. 
So now if I come to the website here and I refresh the page, you'll see that there is two things firing here, as you can see. So this is working. If this was not working, if I um, go to another website like this one, let's see. Um, oh, there's still Pinterest tag. Let's see what else we can come to. If I come to an email, here you go. You'll see that um, this Pinterest Chrome extension is not firing. So that means that there is no Pinterest tag installed in obviously my Gmail. So that's how you'll know if it's actually working or not. But as we saw, when we go back to my website, it is firing. So it should be working. And sometimes it takes a little bit to optimize with, when, with Pinterest and your website collecting data. Pinterest is a little bit slower than Facebook as of right now. But don't worry, um, this is my website. Um, so yeah, um, if you guys have any questions at all, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and do subscribe to my channel if you got any value out of this short video and I'll see you guys in the next video.